Good morning, students. I am M. Venkataya. I am Ashtan Professor of uh, Mechanical Engineering in the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Now, I am going to teach the subject is uh, Thermal and Hydro Prime Movers. So, here, first of all, what is meant by Prime Movers? So, here, the Prime Movers. So, here, uh, uh, the Prime Mover is a device which develops the power. So my the main, what is the main agenda of this uh, um, THPM is to generate the power by using thermal and hydro prime movers. So here, here we are using in this subject, here we are using two different types of prime movers are using. These are the two, the two prime movers is thermal and hydro prime movers. So here, the what is meant by thermal prime mover? The thermal prime mover is a prime mover which converts the mechanical, which converts the chemical energy to heat energy. That heat energy will convert to mechanical energy. That is called thermal prime mover. We coming to the hydro prime mover. Here the hydro prime mover is a prime mover in which the converts converts of uh, hydraulic energy to mechanical energy that is the main introduction of this subject so here <coughs> the course objective of uh, thermo thermal and uh, hydro prime mover is take to this course gives the basic knowledge of thermal and different types of prime movers so what are the uh, what are the different types of prime movers here the here the thermal prime mover and hydro prime mover. So here the student will learn the basic knowledge of this subject as well as the main concept of main objective of this course is to generate the power by using hydro prime movers as well as thermal prime, prime movers. And next this is the course structure of uh, 2 1 students. So here the unit one is IC engines. So here the IC engines means internal combustion engines. And the second unit is steam turbines. The third unit is gas turbines. And the fourth unit is impact of jets and pumps. Coming to the fifth unit, hydraulic turbines, the followed by the 6th unit hydro power systems. So we have to see here the first unit, second unit, third unit that belongs to thermal prime movers as well as the, then the remaining three units like 4th unit, 6th unit, 5th unit. These are all the hydro prime movers. So now I am going to explain about the unit 1 that is the IC engines. So IC engines in the sense of uh, um, internal combustion engines and this is the IC engines so internal combustion engines here the syllabus of IC engine is so first the topic is the classification of IC engines then working principle of IC engines so how to work here how to working of internal combustion engine as well as valve and port timing diagrams and coming to the A standard cycles and then here the engine system line fuel injection carburetion ignition cooling and lubrication so after completion of that topic the final is the engine performance evaluation so here the student learn engine performance so mechanical efficiency like that only and next coming to the, this is the content of my presentation. First I want to tell about the introduction. Then classification of IC engines. Then working principle of internal combustion engines. So here, first introduction. So why I am going to explain the um, internal combustion engine. First what about, what, what is mean by engine. So here 
the an engine is a device which transforms one form of energy into another form of energy so look at here here the engine an engine is a device which transforms one form of one form of energy into another form of energy it will call engine okay clear next heat engine so here heat engine is a device which transforms the chemical energy into mechanical energy is called the heat engine so then first first of all the ic engines here uh, the heat engine may be classified into two different types so here the heat engine heat engine means that the, in which heat engine is a device in which the uh, chemical energy into mechanical energy so that is called heat engine so the heat engine is divided into two types they are uh, uh, one is the uh, internal combustion engine second one is external combustion engine so first one is internal combustion engine is ic engines and second one external combustion engine like uh, ec engines so ic engines here the different types of heat engines so here two different types of heat engine i already said them previous slide so here the external combustion engine and internal combustion engine so here the external combustion engine we are using here steam engines turbines stirling engines and coming to the internal combustion engines so here the auto engine diesel engine rank engines so and here the external combustion engine so what what is meant by external combustion engine so in which here external combustion engine is a like a heat engine this is also one type of the heat engine like uh, such as a steam engine that der that derives its heat from fuel consumed outside outside the cylinder so this is a uh, one type of uh, uh, heat engine so uh, that heat engine it is a heat engine is a device in which the heat is transformed to heat engine that is the chemical energy to make, uh, heat energy that heat energy will convert to the mechanical energy that is the external combustion engine this is the diagram of uh, external combustion engine so like that here if we have to see here this is a, a steam um, external combustion engine steam turbines um, like that and coming to the internal combustion engines so here the internal combustion engine is a heat engine which converts the heat energy to mechanical work so we have to see here an internal combustion engine is a heat engine which converts the heat energy into mechanical work heat energy to mechanical work this is the internal combustion engines and we have to see here this is the internal combustion engine uh, cross section of internal combustion engine so we have to see here this is a this is a piston and uh, this is a camshaft like uh, this uh, this parts are uh, we will tell in next class so we have to see here only this is a connecting rod and cooling cooling water system piston this is a piston is a, uh, connected to the connecting rod so this is the uh, this is a um, cross section of uh, internal combustion engine and here the main is the classification of ic engine so based on the classification that means based on the fuel or uh, whatever it is we have to take in that particular uh, ic engines we have to use the internal combustion engines may be classified in many ways but the following are important form from of the subject point of view we are discussing about uh, um, fuel fuel we are considering the fuel that is uh, if you take the fuel if you take the fuels uh, that is a uh, petrol diesel or uh, gases like that so here the classification of ic engine so first is according to the type of fuel used so we are using here the uh, different types of fuels are using so here the uh, different types that means that we are using the petrol engines petrol we are using petrol 
which call petrol engines and then we have to uh, if you consider the diesel then we have to use the diesel engine or oil engines and we if you use the gases then we can uh, divide as the gas engines so according to the type of fuel used so here uh, with which one we want to consider at that particular point if you consider the petrol petrol engine if you consider the diesel diesel engine if you consider the gases gas engine and second one is according to the method of ignition of the fuel so ignition system so here three types of ignition systems is there that is the spark ignition system the so basically we are using the spark ignition system in the bikes also and and uh, spark ignition system uh, we can uh, shortly call it as uh, si engines like that and b that is the compression ignition system briefly written as the ci engines and hot spot ignition systems and uh, here the according to the number of strokes number of strokes uh, uh, per uh, cycle so uh, number of strokes we are considering the number of strokes that's why we have divide, div divided into two categories like uh, four strokes cycle engines and uh, two stroke cycle engines so here if we consider the four stroke cycle engine nowadays we are using most of four stroke cycle engines like uh, bikes are also and four stroke means uh, here the four stroke means the first stroke is suction stroke and second stroke is a um, combustion stroke and third one is the power stroke that is uh, expansion stroke and uh, uh, fourth one is the exhaust so two stroke cylinder engines these are the according we when we considering in the number of strokes per cycle two types that is a four stroke or uh, um, two stroke cycle engines and according to the cycle of operation so we are uh, using here according uh, auto cycle it is also known as a constant volume engines and diesel cycle it is also known as a constant pressure pressure cycle engines and dual combustion cycle it is also known as the it is also known as the here diesel engine um, uh, sorry the uh, dual combustion cycle also known as the semi diesel cycle engines so here um, uh, these are the these three are auto cycle diesel uh, diesel cycle and dual cycle these are all the air standard cycles and um, according to the speed of speeds we are considering the here the, here is speed so according to the speed um, slow speed engines medium speed engines uh, high speed engines and then Uh, the according to the cooling system so here the cooling systems is there the, if you consider in the cooling that is uh, air cooled engines water cooled engines uh, evaporative cooling engines so based on the uh, considering of the um, cooling systems and coming to the according to the method of fuel injection so here carburetor engines air injection engines ALS or solid injection engines we are using here. The according to the according to the um, here, so according to the arrangement of cylinders, we have to uh, use the vertical engines, horizontal engines, radial engines, inline multi-cylinder multi-cylinder engines, V-type multi-cylinder engines. Like uh, opposite cylinder engines, opposite uh, piston engines. So we are based on the um arrangement of cylinders so if you arrange the vertical if you arrange the vertical then we have to uh, use the vertical cylinder and we, if you have to arrange the horizontal so we have the uh, horizontal engine and if you arrange the radial then it's called the radial engine inline multi cylinder engines v type multi cylinder engine engines and opposite cylinder engines opposite the piston engines so here and uh, um, finally the summary of this is uh, we are discussed already that is the different types of prime movers and which are the different where which, which one is the different uh, types of prime mover is hydro 
hydro trimovers and thermal trimovers and the, uh, based on the classification of uh, um, classification of uh, internal combustion engine we have discussed already um, what is meant by engine and heat engine and various types of uh, classification of uh, um, classification of ic engines internal combustion engine and external combustion engines like that and and uh, 